I've been working on my Indian flute and part of it is this totem uh, of a bear. They also call it a fetish. Uh, this used to be just a block of wood that was about this big. And uh, after a number of stages I ended up with this. A bear carved by hand. I used a saw also, especially for this area here, and to create this this gap. And I've learned a lot. I learned, for example, to be extra careful when drawing wood, carving with a knife, with the grain especially, that you easily chop off an ear. <laughs> I split the wood there. You can see the dark, the dark line, which is where I glued it back together. Well, it still came out nice. And on the other side, you also see where the the drill bit, because I made, I drilled one hole here, one hole there, with my drill from the top like that. And as it broke through the other side it tore some of the wood out with it and I glued that back as well otherwise I would have had a great big hole so it's not perfect and that makes it even more special um, obviously the goal was to maintain this bit at the bottom which is essential to get a tone out of the flute. So this will then be sitting on the flute like this, covering one of the holes with this bit, and it will be tied down with leather straps, which I'm planning to have, I'll see how this goes, maybe only th loop it through here and around the flute maybe an additional one additional one here I'll see about that and what I also want to do is because what I saw Jimmy do which I liked very much was uh, Jimmy is the guy who uh, made the flute um, he puts a turquoise stone in the place where the uh, eyes are of any of the animals that he carved um, I have quite a few minerals from my grandfather, so I will see what I have that might look the part. So we'll see about that. Yeah, and otherwise I... So I already told you I used a knife, I used also a metal file, um, and a saw, and in the end I finished this whole thing off just with sandpaper. I started with 80 grit, then 120, 150, and then directly went up to 400, and finished with 600, so it's nice and smooth like the rest of the flute. And I'm now going to apply the um, protective uh, wax oil um, that I bought, which is essentially a product for salad bowls. So it's completely safe to eat. Uh, I wouldn't eat it by the spoonful or put it on my sandwich, but I, uh, uh, it's perfectly safe and it doesn't go rancid and it protects the wood nicely from any uh, water entering it. I don't expect this will get wet at all. Um, I don't plan to be playing in the rain, but it will also intensify the color it'll make it darker so um i'll be back when i've done this thanks for watching